The Joint Action Front, JAF, or your state chapter, in coalition of pro-labor, socialist-oriented civil service organization and partnership on the labor and civil society coalition with the Nigerian Union Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, has today expressed its displeasure in the recent hiking pump price of petrol, electricity tariff, the VAT, and other anti-people policies of the Buhari-led government. The displeasure was made known today during a press conference organized by the Joint Action Front, JAF, held at Nigeria Labor Congress office in Ibadan. Except these new barrages of hike, the public utilities is defeated. There's every likelihood that if we need to increase in mass unemployment, as well as many small-scale businesses will collapse with tendency for an increase in crime rate under related social vices in the country. The vassal of the hike in the price of petrol let this arrive and VAT at least to the pre 2016 prices. This means, for instance, that the pump price of petrol should be reversed to 87 naira per litre. And the chairman, Nigeria Labor Congress, or your state chapter, Olukayo D. Martin, said the COVID 19 financial crisis facing the country has affected the low income and middle class citizens and urged the government and every stakeholders to stand against the surge in price of petrol and um, the price of petrol and electricity tariff. Comrade Rashida Tadeshino Ayodeji Omole, while addressing the press, called for a nationwide rejection of the of government increase in prices of petrol and the electricity tariff. How can you be subsidizing what you are producing? It's absurd. Why don't we have our refineries working? It's because of their inefficiency, and we cannot be made to be paying for their inefficiencies. All these points have to be clearly stated. Why do we have to take crude away and go and refine and bring it back? And so we have to be paying at exchange rate of dollar to naira. That is that is not what it is not all. It's unacceptable to, for us. We are not going to accept it. Let everyone of us cry out now. Let them know. If they remain insensitive to our plight, let them know we are no more mumu. I respect the law and the constitution of my country. In as much it respect the interest of the people. If it goes against the interest of the people, I'm against such. I don't mind whatever the consequence. We are already on ground. We need to rise again. And the only way we can rise is to tell these people that we are partners in the project called Nigeria. Nigeria does not belong to APC. Yeah. This country will die the moment the culture of protest died.